hello and welcome to my channel okay in this video i'm going to explain on how to set this digital display timer you can see it. this is the unit and this one is a synchronous for the output i i install to the synchronous and here you can see after I set the timer it will be off 5 seconds and will be connected for 7 seconds ok now I'm going to explain the first about the unit this is what in front of us is uh, digital timer AC 110 and 220 volt power 1500 watt and the time range we can set it for seconds and then we can set it for minutes and then also we can set it in hours so there are three three modules here Okay, now how, how does this timer work? Okay, you can see over here there are two display bars. The red one over here is T1, we call it T1, T1 and then the blue, we call it T2. And how to change the T1 and T2, we push the set button once, this take only once and then we set it by pressing the up and down button and if we push for the second time it will be go to the T2 and also we can set it just like this one so this one is T1 the red one is T1 and the blue one is T2 and if we press the set button for 5 seconds or 6 seconds the display will change oh, you can see p0 0 p0 0, 0 it means it means setting is seconds and then p01 it means minutes and then p02 it means the setting will be hours it can be 5 6 hours till 999 hours but I use P00 here for setting in seconds. Again, if we press again the set button, it will come to P1. There are six choices 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah, 6 choices. And it's number here bring their own use so we have to choose one of them okay let's just try the p10 and the setting is seconds in seconds we can see the red bar t1 counting down the relay is disconnected and when it is finished the relay will connect it. Okay, let's restart. This is P10. You can see. Okay, now we change to P11. Okay, let's try it. P11. If the T1 is counting down, the relay is connected. And when it finish, the relay will be disconnected and there is no cycling in P11 ok let's just try for the second time, restart you can see it ok now we try the P12 P1, I'm sorry P1 ok P12 The relay is disconnected and then when it comes to the T2, the relay will be connected 
this is p1 2 and there is no cycling in p1 2 okay let's restart to see it again and now we try the p1 3 p1 3 yeah the relay is connected when the T1 is counting down and when it enters the T2 the relay will be disconnected and there is no cycling it will be done except except we push the restart button it will be restart again you can see it This is P1 3. Okay, let's restart. When the T1 is counting down, the relay is connected. When the T2 is counting down, the relay is connected. And when it finished the T2, it will be connected for for the next time. Except we push the restart button or the input power is not connected. You can see this is P13 and now we try the P14. P14. Okay, let's see the P14. In P14 there is cycling, eh? There is cycling if it is in the T1 counting down, the relay is disconnected. And when it comes to the T2, the relay is connected and it will be cycling all the time as long as the input power is connected you can see p14 it is cycling when the t1 is counting down the relay is disconnected and when the t2 is counting down the relay will be connected you can see it over here it will be cycling and then we try the P15. P15 it is the contrary of P14. It is also cycling. But in if we see the counting down in T1, the relay will be connected. And when it enters the T2, counting down, the relay is disconnected. And it will be cycling. As long as the input power is connected. Okay, I think that's all from me. This is how this digital timer works. I hope this information is useful. And if you have any questions, just leave your comments. And don't forget to click like and subscribe to follow us and to get the newest video from our channel. Thanks. See you next time.